The weekly entertainment news roundup running from 29 September until Saturday 5 October. The beginning of the week saw the public slowly recovering from the Mtukuzi family drama until week Neojifayo decided to add some spice to the story by buying a 2024 Toyota Fortuna for days. While others clapped hands for him for honoring the late musical legend through his wife, the majority of the netizens were quite unhappy as it seemed he had picked the wrong side. In an unanticipated yet unsurprising move, Baba Harari announced that he has changed his stage name to King David, which is quite not so surprising. Honestly, there's been a lot of drastic changes around his life. Crossing over the border, the Zimbabwean-born South African TV presenter and model Tino Chinyani this week announced that he is expecting his second child with his wife, South African actress Simpi Wengema. This week has been quite eventful for Holly Ten. Through a mixture of Instagram stories and Instagram live, he reviewed and addressed quite a number of issues. He reviewed how he got kicked off Makadze's album after they refused to allow him to bring Kimberly along. He also went on to accuse Saint Flo of stealing his song Makuruku, and he exchanged some nasty words with Kchaps in the comment section. And lastly, he was seen for the first time with both of his sons. In other news, the Zim Dance of Sensation Superman Vibes of Pira Dendi was crowned the Mashingo Cup Clash winner of 2024. There was also the Douglas Monzora and Simbarasha Chikanza drama in which the MDC leader nearly got arrested for allegedly abusing female staff at a premiere in hotel. Moving along, the America's Got Talent star Len Mojo Nasi or Long John is currently in the country. He had an interview with DJ Ola Seven and the mayor of Blawayo, David Coulter, also extended an invitation to him to come to Blawayo. Over the week, the fake doctor Prosper Mpofu, who is currently out on bail for pretending to be a doctor, striked again at Mpilo Hospital where he was caught talking to some patients. In a sad development, on Tuesday, the Herald newspaper revealed that 16 girls had failed to write their grade 7 exams because they were pregnant. Also in this week, the CEO of Zim Hip Hop Awards, Adrian Beefy Harrison, announced that he was no longer the CEO and he was handing over the organization to the House of Arts Association. Olinda Chappell also came out of a quiet era this week and clarified the rumors going around that she had gotten married to Stana in Greece. She says that this is not true and she is still legally married to Baba Nand. In other news, the trial of Mike Chimombe and Moses Impov, who are both accused of corruption, commenced this week and went on for two days before it was postponed to 22 October after they stated that they needed more time to gather more evidence. Over the Limpopo once again, Makadze's song which features Fox JT was released. The song is titled Forever and is available on all digital platforms. This has certainly been a very eventful week as Takura released an apology video apologizing to all his fans and all the other people around him for the way he has been like for the past few years. This week we also saw the largest ever recorded cash heist in Zimbabwean history taking place at the Eco Bank in Blawayo, where over 4 million US dollars was stolen in less than 2 minutes. In a heartwarming move, well wishes have launched a GoFundMe campaign for Selma and Sandra Mtukuzi. The initiative has so far raised £650, but their target is that of £1,500. So if you are a fan of the Mtukuzi daughters, look for the GoFundMe campaign and support them. Lastly, if you're a music fan, there's been a lot of new releases this week. African Wine released a song one more time. An upcoming musician by the name of IQ Mukundi released his song Chabolo Ngoza. Another upcoming artist, Sabroso, also released his song Port Bailey. And Saint Flo also released his song Mukuruku. Ketchups and MTG Hustler also released their song Pakudai Wewe. Chill Master, Pop 10 and Michael Megs also released their song Usandi Kanganwe. And lastly, don't forget that Holy Ten is also releasing his album next week. <laughs>